Well, Gaffer, a very young side you had out there with a couple of exceptions, and you must be pleased, particularly about the second half performance. Yeah, it was very much a, the old cliche game of two halves. I was very pleased second half. I was very disappointed first half. We didn't get anywhere near them. Very passive in, in both on and off the ball. Don't know why. Um, we knew they had a lot of good tact. Tact technically good players as you would expect from a, a young Arsenal team but we needed to be far more aggressive and first half for us was a non-event we were lucky to still be level we had only two shots at goal Ward and Dembele so I was glad to get in at half time and just speak to them and go through what I wanted and told them what I expected and to be fair second half we, we did it we delivered a performance that what I want to see with energy, desire, passing forward rather than passing back the way, which we did the whole first half virtually, being braver. And and I, and I felt we, tri you know, the way it was the first half, it was more, almost like they th the thought it was an under 23 game. This is a proper game. And I've just said to them, 80,000 people were at this final last year. You know, we opportunities to get to Wembley, we got one. Not, not maybe you know, well we have got one because that's where the end the tournament ends up and I, I felt we were we were just way off first half in terms of everything we did second half that's a performance we'd done that first half we'd have won the, the game I felt a lot more comfortably but second half really pleased with them Barker far better got on the ball passed it forward showed 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 us what a player he is or can be in terms of he's, he's, he has improved Burrow's far better more aggressive Saha the whole lot of them and second half I was very pleased yeah. Joe Ward uh, obviously got the goal bit with a big deflection he, he looked as you say stronger as the game went on yeah he, he, we know he can play right back and, and to be fair in the shape we we're playing at the moment the diamond we need our full backs to get high and wide up the pitch and, and Joe's good at that yeah. he comes on to things very well which helps him in that position he again was a lot more aggressive got a bit fortunate but you know at least second half we you know we could have won by three or four and so I was pleased second half and, and you know you're better to have it that way finish strongly rather than you know start well and finish not so strong so but I think it's a good message for the players that you know if we do it right and play with with the energy that we've got and play with a bit of bravery and <clears throat> move the ball quicker and move it forward quicker will cause teams problems against a very good technical Arsenal team some very good players to be fair so I'm delighted with the clean sheet I'm delighted with the win it means we're through and I'm delighted to be through after two games that was the aim we've achieved that we've obviously got another game but it now means that going into that game of course we still want to win it and it's the game leading up to the weekend we've got off so I had that sort of thinking well if we don't go through tonight I might have to go and play the team a stronger team no disrespect to the ones the ones that are stronger at the moment let's say um, but now I can be really flexible in what I do. And, and also Ricky coming on was excellent. And the boys got a right chance. And the only reason he didn't get in at the end there was because Arsenal centre-back was quick, or nowhere near as quick as Ricky. Ricky's the quickest thing football I've ever had. He's unbelievable, his pace. And he's got an exciting future ahead. And I thought he was excellent when he came on. And finally, from the academy's point of view, obviously you had Burrows, you had Cam Sam Cartwright, Carl Barker who started, yeah. Ricky who came off. The rest of the bench, aside from Conor O'Malley, were under the uh, part of the under 18s group, and that says a lot a, about this football club, but also the competition allows you to get some of those players involved. Yeah, but that's not always been the case. That's something that has changed, and the the the, the age of the first team is twenty, you know, eleven players, twenty three or under, in the first team squad. I think there's five twenty or under. But they've got to be good enough and they've got to show the right attributes and right attitude and all the ones have. And, I, and yeah, you're right, Cam Cartwright did very well. You know, and Sam's obviously gone out on loan. We brought him back for the game and I thought he did well. Alongside Benno, I thought the, the, the senior players were very good in terms of the attitude. Woodyard was excellent in terms of how he wanted to press. First half, he was the only one that made a tackle. So, no, all in all, I'm pleased. And again, it's good for me that I can, you know, it's easy to say to the players, look, there's one example of not to, how to do it and second half of absolutely how to do it. So I'm delighted with the result. It's, it's a good habit to have to keep winning. It's two in the bounce now. And obviously we go into a very tough game and then also getting a clean sheet was good as well.